The driver of a stolen car speeds the wrong way on U.S. 35 before crashing. He and his passenger are in the hospital tonight with serious injuries. Two News reporter Aaliyah Williamson has this developing story out of Beaver Creek. Uh, we had done some research on the vehicle as an officer tried to stop it last night. Once we had some determination of who the driver may be, uh, we found out he had a very violent criminal history. Dayton police making several attempts at stopping the car reported stolen out of Trotwood. We attempted to stop it and it, and it took off and at some point entered the U.S. 35 going uh, westbound and eastbound lane. Uh, just as that happened, um, we made a decision to terminate the pursuit, but right as we did, uh, the individual uh, drove off the freeway onto Grange Hall Road here. Uh, there were two occupants of the vehicle. Witnesses described what they saw in the moments after the car left the highway. Well, I seen him come, come a flying. It was like a speck. And I got over. I thought, and I, I seen a cop cars behind him. So I thought, there's something definitely going down wrong, you know. So I got in the left lane. And I just sat there. The exact speeds of the car are still under investigation, but police say it was anywhere between 70 and 100 miles per hour. I mean, I never seen a car fly so fast on this road. Now, police say the two in that car could face charges of receiving stolen property and failure to comply with an officer. There could be other charges as well related to other crimes police believe the pair could be linked to.